Hello and welcome to this topic on system analysis. We are going to be looking at two major parts within this topic. The first one is going to be looking at the term project management. Project management being how we can organize our, the way we do things so we can reach deadline dates. And we'll look at how a project manager goes about doing that. The second part of this topic is all about data flow diagrams, which we'll obviously look at in a later video. And this is being able to plan where we want particular information to go and get an understanding of how information is moved around a system or an organization. In this video, we're going to look at definitions. So let's go and have a look at a definition of project manager. Here we have one here. Project management is using skills and techniques to effectively and efficiently complete projects and reach deadline dates on time and on budget. This is essential in a competitive business environment. Whatever the business is, whether it's building huge uh, buildings or housing estates, or bringing it down within the school setting, such as with us as teachers and you as pupils, we all need to have skills as project managers. Within the world of work, reaching deadlines is an essential part of business. If you are going to be competitive and have a good reputation out there in the world, you need to make sure that you are starting and finishing at a particular time and that that means that all the aspects which go into building houses or bridges all of those elements are put together in an organized fashion and you are able to reach a deadline date companies that go over deadline dates are often sued and as a result of that the amount they are sued depends on how many days they have gone over the deadline date to be able to effectively use project management, there are some skills that you need to look at. The skills are planning. This can be done on a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever time scale, but there is a plan as to when to start and when something finishes. Scheduling. Essentially that's putting in what something is needed, whether it be people, resources, budgets, whatever that is, it's being able to bring it in at the right time. So there is no downtime. So essentially the workers wouldn't be sitting down waiting for bricks or cement to come onto site. It would be already be there and set up for the workers to use straight away. Directing. Directing is telling people where to go, what to do. Tracking. Some jobs take a lot longer than others. Some jobs might take days. The project manager needs to be able to monitor the progress of that particular task. Now there is a piece of software called Gantt which is a project management tool and in a later video we will have a look at these Gantt tools and understand what tracking is but it's a way of making sure that a particular job is completed on time. Budgeting is making sure that when we start a project it's going to be finished, that it is not going to overrun either in terms of time or in terms of expenses. Projects that are over budgeted can simply collapse and never finish because people haven't calculated all the costs involved in creating or building a certain project. If you want to be a project manager then you're going to get well paid because it is a high pressure job. It is your job to make sure that deadline dates are met that resources are used effectively and efficiently and that all the scheduling 
is done in such a way that there are no holdups. So what does a project manager do? Well, let's say a simple task, or one task, would be that of creating a car. So we're going to build a car. Now that's a large job. So we need to break that down, and that is broken down into subtasks. These subtasks could be body work, um, engine, the suspension, electrics. So this would be a handful of the subtasks that would be used to complete the task, building of the car. Now, the project manager has to think about various things. So each of these subtasks have to be managed. So for example, the project manager would need to think of how much money needs to be spent. How much money needs to be spent on each task? Time. Amount of time needed. Various tasks will need different amounts of time. And that is all bound within the final deadline date. The project manager would need to think about how long tasks are and when they could be fitted in. Manpower. Some tasks are going to need more people than others. So that would mean maybe hiring people, how long for, how much for. Finally, expertise. Some jobs require specialists. Where are you going to find those specialists? How much are you going to pay them? Are they able to come on to the job when they are free as opposed to when you want them? So all of this would need to be sorted out. So what we've gone and done in this video, we've looked at project management. We've looked at the definition of project management. We've understood some of the skills. The skills being planning, scheduling, directing, tracking and budgeting. And we've had a brief look at the role of the project manager and some of the issues that he or she needs to deal with on a daily basis to make sure that that task is completed on time. Thank you for watching.